Okay. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Conscious Living. Um, I am from Ascension Healing Arts Center, and we are going to do a manifesting meditation this morning. So welcome. Okay, I invite you to get cozy in Lotus or on your back with your knees up or sitting in a chair with your feet on the floor and your back straight. And begin to close your eyes and get in touch with your breath. Inhale and exhale out the mouth. And as you exhale, imagine all the stress oozing out of your body, going down, trickling into the earth. And the earth is the mother goddess. She is so powerful and she can transmute this energy, the stress energy into peaceful energy. Keep breathing. And this in particular breath helps your nervous system to calm down so that you feel safe. You want to make sure that you hear yourself as you exhale. Good, a couple more breaths like that. Good, and breathing in through the nose and out through the nose now. And just imagine that your body's like an accordion. It's filling up as much as it can, expanding, expanding, expanding as you breathe in. And as you exhale, you're contracting all the muscles and you are emptying the lungs, emptying the diaphragm, emptying the gut, the belly, breathing in and exhaling out. Good. Now pick a mudra. Yan Mudra is the most popular. I like this mudra. It helps me to go inward. Connecting inwardly, keeping your focus on your breath. Good. and taking yourself to your sacred place in nature, we are going to ground. Go to a sacred place in nature where you feel safe and comfortable and at home. And we're going to take in the scenery. And as we take in the scenery, this is going to help to open up our spiritual sight, our mind's eye, our third eye. Taking in the terrain, the sacred space that you're placing yourself in.
Now focus on your third eye. Focus in between your third eye. I'm blocking out any distractions. Not giving any attention or emotions towards any distractions. I'm just focusing on the third eye. A lot of times you'll see like a blue blob, a bluey purpley blob of, of energy there. And sometimes you might see an actual eye open up and look back. You might see a closed eye and you might try to coax it open to open, breathe it to open. You might see a screen like a movie screen. And you just might be able to see the terrain in your sacred place much more vividly now. Manifesting spiritual sight. Now, taking the sounds of your sacred space, what sounds do you hear? The chirping of the birds, the buzzings of the bees, the flapping of the wings of a butterfly, a moth, or a bird. The sound of the wind blowing. a creek rippling, the waves crashing upon the shore. I'm going to be silent now so that you can focus on these sounds. Now, we invite you to focus on the scents, the aromas in this space. What aromas do you smell in this sacred space? What tastes do you have on your palate? Now I want you to focus on your feelings. What physical feelings do you feel in this place? What does the air feel like? What does the earth feel like? Maybe you're immersed in water. What does that feel like? And also, what emotions does this place bring to you? What emotions are you feeling in this space?
Good. Now I want you to have your spirit guides come around you and your spirit animals, call them in. And call in your higher self into this space if you haven't done it. Connect with them heart to heart. Feel them. Feel their support. Gather any messages or information that they have for you. Manifesting a stronger connection with your spirit guides, with your higher self, with your spirit animals. Feel their support. Feel the safety, feel the security. Hear their voices. See them clearly. You are highly intuitive. You are the divine. You are a magical being, so powerful. These are God's given gift to every being. Just as we have our spiritual sense, our physical senses, we have our spiritual senses have just been repressed, but now they are set free and you're fully open to the power of your intuition, your spiritual senses, your psychic abilities. Bring your attention to your crown chakra now, like you're looking up at your crown chakra. Clearing that out, opening it up for your divine wisdom, for source, the creator, to guide you now and always. And feel how it brings in the light into your body. And ground that light down into the earth with your grounding cord and your roots, the extensions of your meridians. Reinforce your grounding cord and your connection to the new earth, the fifth dimensional earth, gritting yourself downward and bringing that light down to the earth. Strengthening your connection to the earth and offering the light of God to the earth only to enhance her goddess powers, only to lift her vibration into her next ascension. Feel how that light is grounded in you grounded into the earth, overflowing to the earth, overflowing into your aura, six feet in every direction, cleansing and clearing your chakras, releasing cords, cleansing and clearing your aura, purifying your energy, purifying your energetic anatomy, strengthening it to hold more light, activating your DNA within your Shashuna, within each cell and molecule of your body, completely throughout your physical, 
and energetic anatomy, upgrading you. It is full moon energy now, and I want you to think, put your hand on your heart and think about that which doesn't serve you. Maybe you don't even have to think about it. You just ask that that which does not serve you now leave you. And just know that this flooding of the light coming in is helping to purify you, baptize you into the new you, into the new ways of being and pushing out the old ways of being, pushing out survival mode, breaking any ties to that collective survival mode, that personal survival mode, breaking the chains that bind us. We're no longer the slaves to this delusion of lack consciousness, breaking free from the energy grid of lack consciousness. And as it dissolves from us, as this survival mode and this lack consciousness, and we're gonna add fear-based consciousness in there, as we conquer that, as that dissolves from our being, from every cell, every molecule, the strands that were programmed into our DNA for those levels of consciousness are now dissolving and falling away. And the grid of energy that was formed for those, it's like a web that's been set on fire. It's like burning away burning away the seeds that were planted for survival, burning it out of all of our chakras, burning it out of our physical body, burning it out of our energetic bodies, burning out as far into the ancestral and collective as possible. As we bring in more light, it dissolves this. It burns it out. It can be no more. And we are planting seeds of karma for thrive into our chakra systems. The angels are assisting us. Our Reiki guides are working on us. Smile in gratitude. Both hands on your heart. knowing that this is so, being so grateful for this upgrade into the energy of thrive, into the energy of love, planting the seeds of karma for self-love and unconditional love and compassion for others, bringing in that pink light into all the chakras, planting the seeds of karma for this and growing this grid of energy within us, within our physical, within our energetic bodies. And this is bringing healing to us on a physical level, on a mental level, on an emotional level. Smile and accept this beautiful healing and give gratitude and thanks. Bringing in the energy of gratitude and abundance, thrive. Unconditional love for ourselves and others. Bringing in the ability to have proper boundaries for ourselves. With that self-love comes boundaries. With that self-love 
comes expression, being able to express and communicate our needs. Feel the web of energy growing within you energetically and physically. Feel how this is lifting your vibration. Welcome it, breathe it in. Breathe in the energy of abundance, planting the seeds of karma for abundant generosity, teamwork, community, enough for all, one for all and all for one. Smile and accept the abundance, the prosperity energy growing within your chakras, within your heart, within your mind, within your emotional and mental being. Extending out into humanity overflowing to the earth. Grounding in that energy, creating new grounding into the earth with this energy of thrive, abundance, and love. peace and harmony within your heart. May you see why people act the way that they do and not take it personally. May you know that it's not personal and that you are good enough, worthy, you are lovable. You feel the energy of worth and good enough, lovable, growing within you. And know that anything else is a lie. And smile and accept this energy. And so our manifesting has turned into a mini healing here. But I want you to shift your focus now, hand on heart still, hopefully. Breathing, breathing. And I want you to give thanks and reverence now for all that you have and all that you are. And be proud of yourself. And I want you to notice maybe the things and people that you've thought of and you've thought of them in a lack consciousness. You've noticed what they're not doing instead of what they are doing. You're noticing the lack of progress instead of the progress because you're afraid. Drop that fear right now. Drop it like a heavy weight. Boom. And notice their progress. Take time to see the people in your life the way that you wish them to be, what you wish for them, what you wish for them and yourselves. And I'm going to be very quiet now while you see the progress in your relationships, in the people around you. See them the way that you wish them to be.
Excellent. And now I'm gonna invite you to focus on your goals, your personal goals for yourself, whether it be for your health, whether it be for your career, whether it be for changed behavior in some way. I'm gonna give you a few moments to imagine that and smile as you do imagine that. So it is, so it is. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope you guys have a blessed day and a blessed weekend. And I'll see you next week. If anybody needs help on their healing path, check us out, ascensionhealingartcenter.com. We work both um, remotely by distance and in person.